In this tutorial you can learn how to quickly create mosaic portrait effect in Photoshop CC. So let's start now. Firstly create a folder and take your all photos. I use 100 items image. Now open your Photoshop and create new document. Now open your photo, which photo you want to apply portrait effect. Now go to blank document page and go to file then automate then select contact sheet 2. Here is select to folder and choose your folder which folder you have 100 items image. From document sections, unit select 2 inches width 12 and height 8 and resolutions 200 pixel per inches and column 10 and row 10 that means how much images you want to in row and column checked out for auto spacing and given 0 inches here checked in rotate for best fit and must be checked out for file name and captions then ok now automatically comes your 100 items image. Wait sometimes until come your all images. Here is spacing between two images. So need to all images resize. Firstly select move tool and checked in auto select now one by one just select your image and press ctrl t for resize then enter again select your image and press ctrl t for transform and resize your image After resize your all images, it has been unexpected outside area. So select your rectangular marquee tool and select your image area. And go to image then crop your image. Now go to edit then define pattern. Now give your pattern name then OK. Now go to your subject layer. It means your portrait image layer. Select to pattern. Your scale depend up to you. How much size you want. I selected 60% then OK. Now from blending mode select overlay. Now right click on your subject layer and convert to smart object. Then go to image then adjustment then select shadow highlights. Here checked in show more options, here also depend on your image. Increase and decrease then see the result. Here must be needed color is decreases.
then OK. You can low your image opacity for more realistic, and if you want to your pattern scale size increase or decrease, just fiddle click on your pattern. Now go to image then image size for better resolutions. Give your desire resolution. Now save your image. Thanks for watching our tutorial. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.